everybody, this is Tracy Chen, an immigration lawyer from Australia, and today we're going to talk about all the changes to this whole 485 visa extension. lawyer at Mason Chan Law Group. If you want to get in contact with myself or one of our fabulous lawyers or agents, our contact details below, I'll drop the link. So, so many things have happened in the last few days. I literally, I can't take it. There is just too much going on. But let's address them one by one. And this is what I always tell my team when things happen. Look, let's just take each step one by one. So first of all, it was announced yesterday that eligible 485 visa holders will be eligible for a two year visa extension. Now this was announced in a joint media release by the Honourable Claire O'Neill. I will drop the link below for you guys to read more into it. But in short, the Albanese government is addressing the skill shortages currently here in Australia. What they're going to do is they're going to extend the post-study work rights for international students here in Australia. So that means if you studied a bachelor degree or higher, you would be eligible. Second of all, you do have to have an eligible occupation. There is a list. However, they have mentioned that it's not exhaustive and it's still yet to be updated. So again, the link is below so you can have a look at the list but it's okay you know again they may change we know this about the government now they do change all the time so take it with a grain of salt and if your occupation isn't on there there is still hope they can still change i do think they need to add like some of the hospitality like cooks and chefs occupations on there because there's a clear shortage at the moment we have employers coming to us all the time asking us if we have applicants for them anyway so all we have now is this media release so i'm interpreting what's on that there will be more to come once they release the rules and regulations around it. However, it appears that if you held a 405 visa on or after the 1st of July 2023, you have an eligible occupation, then you'll be eligible for an extension. If you studied a bachelor degree, you will get an extension from two years to four years. If it's a master's degree, it should be three years to five years, which is really, really long. And the last one is if you studied a PhD, it will be four years to six years, which again is huge. I think it's great, but do keep in mind, this is my opinion, by the way. I think it's great and it gives us lots of time to do things, but you know what? Have the mentality that four years is too long anyway. It's great that we have it in place, but you should be getting your PR within two years of graduating. So it's something to be happy about, but the strategy does not change. A lot of people who are on their temporary residence, so their 485, are looking at permanent residency option. And if that's you, we need to be working for that within two years of graduating. So as a mentality I want you to have. Now previously, 485 visa holders who studied in regional Australia are also eligible for extensions. Those extensions still stand. The other change is that as of the 1st of July 2023, we all know that student visa holders will no longer be allowed to work full time. However, they will be allowed to work up to 48 hours per Fortnite, which is excellent. I think it's great. So, which is excellent. I do think that full time is a little bit hard if you're studying full time. I think being able to work 48 hours per week is fantastic. So now I've talked about the first cohort of people. Now this is a second cohort of people. So this is another visa extension for a second of cohort of people. Now you may have remembered there were people who were stuck offshore during COVID and they were unable to use their 485. Sometime last year they had their visas extended and they were able to apply for a second 485 visa, which is excellent. A lot of people are onshore now, living and working and utilizing the 485 to the fullest. However, there was a cohort of people who were stuck onshore in Australia and they graduated, but they were unable to find work because of all the lockdowns, all the COVID and all the hiring freezes from a lot of companies. So in some sense, those people were disadvantaged. However, it's just been announced that if you held a 485 visa and it expired between the 1st of September, 2022 and the 1st of July, 2023, it expired during that time, you'll be eligible for a two-year 408 COVID pandemic visa. And that's to address the disadvantage that happened previously. Now, I think that's excellent. That is like exactly what we've been asking for. The cohort of people who were stuck here and disadvantaged, but still contributed to the economy and helped during this time. I think it's excellent news. And again, that gives us ample time to plan other things, if you get what I mean. So we're still waiting for further clarification on it, but that is basically the news. It is just super exciting to see all those things. It really goes to show that migration can change anytime. So guys, stay tuned. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook. Subscribe to my pages, all the links are below. I will not miss a beat and I'll keep you updated at all times with all the migration updates. If you're looking for more information, please contact us below. I also do have mini courses. I will be uploading mini courses in relation to all these visa extensions. They are available at courses.tracymigration.com.au. But thank you so much.
so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.